Good morning. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make something. Mama's been asking for chicken and noodles. And I usually make my chicken and noodles homemade from scratch or leg quarters and all. Oh, I've got one thing I need for this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make it simple. If it's a cold day outside and you want to make chicken and noodles without having to go through boiling the chicken and everything, in here I have now I got eight cups of water already boiling, just lightly salted on the stove in my soup pot. I have 48 ounces of chicken breast, juice and all. I have one 15 ounce cans of carrot and peas. I have one pound of egg noodles. I have in here, I did not have any um, fresh celery, but I had dried celery that I keep in the pantry. And I had um, two tablespoons of Neuer's chicken bouillon. I got parsley in here. I got onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt, a little paprika, and a little onion powder. Now, I put just a little salt because you want to taste it at the end. And here I got two medium-sized onions, and a large bell pepper that I've chopped up and already put in the microwave so it will get started in loosening up those flavors. Now, i got a stick of butter. I'm going to use some of this butter because whenever you make homemade chicken noodle soup, the chicken quarters or the chicken pieces you use has a little fat in them. So you need a little fat to make a good chicken noodle. So I'm going to put like maybe one quarter a stick of this in there. So we're going to get started because my water is boiling and this will go really fast because you just basically dump everything. I'm going to put my chicken in with my peas. I'm going to put my bell peppers and onions in there. And just want to give everything a little mix to get it incorporated. And I've done this many a time when me and Mama just wanted soup for supper. Now I'm going to take my butter because I'm going to go ahead and get it in my water. And I'm going to take about, maybe about that much. See? And I'm going to put it in the pot. That'll give me a little fat in my water and a little flavor. It'll add a little creaminess to it that it don't have. Now I'm going to take my, my dry seasoning blend and I'm going to put them all in here. That's everything you need together and just stir it all together and you don't have to break your chicken up you can if you want to I just usually dump mine in there and this is just the um, 48 ounce cans of um, I think it may be a 50 ounce can of chicken breast from Sam's but it's just pure white meat in with the um, broth and all so now this being done I'm going to take I'm going to take this and take it over here and pour it in my water. Okay. I'm going to give it a good stir. Get all those flavors in. Now, I'm going to bring you over here because we're going to finish it off over here. See if I can stand you up. Without tearing everything up. And my tripod broke and I'm going to get another one. In fact, you want to bring this back to a rolling boil. And there again, this is for my family. So I'm going to taste it for salt now. After it comes back to a boil. See, and it's already making like a soup mixture. You just want that dehydrated celery really to, to come back to life. This usually takes 10, 15 minutes. Just starting the water boiling takes the longest. Oh yeah, see that tastes really, it tastes like homemade, it really does. But as I said, this is just something if you want a quick and easy soup on a cool night to eat with a sandwich. And this, this ends up making probably 10, 12 cups of soup. So. And it looks really delicious. Not sure if you can see down in there or not. So, 
Okay. We're just gonna, and then we're gonna put our pound of egg noodles in, and then we'll bring it to a bowl, and I'll dip up a bowl to show you. It really, really is good. Get me back to a bowl in just a second. We'll leave it on it so it comes back to a quick boil. Okay. Because remember, I already took the onions and I put them in my microwave on three minutes, the onions and the bell pepper. And I would have did the celery the same way if I'd had fresh celery, but I mean, let's be honest, who keeps fresh celery in their refrigerator year-round? Only at Christmas and Thanksgiving, unless you're making something that requires celery, like beef stew or something. So, but I do, I buy those emergency number 10 cans of dehydrated celery, and they taste really good. They actually taste more like celery than real celery. And I've actually used them in my homemade dressing. Now, remind you, I usually use fresh carrots, fresh celery, um, fresh onions, fresh bell pepper, and then I boil my chicken until it falls off the bone. But it takes a few hours to do that. This takes 10, 15 minutes, and then you got a soup. So. And as soon as this comes back to a, there it is, it's coming back right now. You can go ahead now and add your one pound of egg noodles. those. I want to give those a good stir and it'll take these. By the time these get done, and this is a thick hearty chicken noodle soup, you can thin it out if you'd like to and make it thin. But this is a very thick and hearty chicken noodle soup. And it's semi-homemade. I mean, everything's pretty much together. Now let's let that sit there for a few minutes and come to a rolling boil. I thought that this would be um, a, a good meal that you could make if someone didn't feel well. It's good because I've made it for me and Mama when we didn't feel well and all, or Albert. Whenever you just didn't want to go through the, the thawing the chicken out and boiling the chicken, and because chicken has a lot of grease in it, and then you have to strain some of the oil off the top of it because you don't want that much fat. And then you have to tear the chicken off the bone, then you have to put the chicken back in. And one day I will do that and show y'all how I make homemade chicken noodle soup. Because I actually used to sell it. I used to sell it by the pot. And I used to um, I used to make chicken noodle soup and sell it. That was back in 2003. I made homemade chicken noodle soup from scratch and I sold it $30 a crock pot full. And, and sold a lot of it. Especially during the winter season. A lot of it. See, this is already back to a rolling boil, and we've only been doing this eight minutes, and the soup's almost done. Took me longer than that to set up the canned goods and everything for it. So, and total cost of this, um, let's see, peas, fifty cent, chicken was four dollars and something. Um, I would say maybe six dollars, and it's soup enough to feed probably six or eight people, depending on how much you eat. But Albert usually can eat a ton of chicken noodle soup. And if you even wanted to go a step further, you could put a, um, a can of cream of chicken in here and make it a creamy soup. Because I have done that before too. When you want something really thick, and this is almost. Almost where we wanted that. I want to taste it again, see if the noodles took away. Nope, it tastes just utterly amazing. You would be just, just shocked. Look at that. We'll see if I can get you up close while it's boiling. Let me get my tripod out without dropping my phone in the pot. Look at that. 
plastic. Bell peppers and onions. See my celery's coming to life. And we're just waiting on the noodles. And normally what I would do if I wasn't showing y'all this, I would just turn this off and cover it up a minute and come back later, maybe 10, 15 minutes and dish up a bowl. Yeah. See, look at that. The noodles are already softening. And it freezes really well. I'm going to bring y'all back over here, and then whenever it comes out, I will bring some over here to show y'all. And there is your chicken noodle soup. Try to zoom me in. Isn't that amazing? And really really good i promise you if you give it a try you will not be sorry i hope that this helps and if not please ask questions like share and subscribe and help my channel grow and as always happy eating bye